I would have gone on my knees to say what I'm about to say. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> uh, thank you, my beloved uh, brothers and sisters, uh, bishops, apostles, general overseers. Uh, shall we say the new generation of Pentecostal leaders? Straight from my heart, not a sermon, just to share. Uh, shall we say as an elder to a younger generation? I want to beg you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, I, I, I don't want to embarrass you, but honestly speaking, I would have gone on my knees to say what I'm about to say. There's no doubt about it that the older ministers, older Pentecostal ministers, might have one or two issues. <laughs> but so do our parents, our old parents. Our mothers, biological, our fathers, biological. They are not modern. I'm talking of our biological parents. But we still value them because they did not go to the universities, they, do, they don't know about Greek, they don't know about Hebrews, but they have certain information that you don't get in any university. I remember very well when I was trying to get my mom to be born again. She was telling me that, look, you boy, before I married your father in 1910, I had been a Christian. I wasn't rude to her. I didn't tell her, look, mama, things have changed. The Christianity you say you understood in those days, no, 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 no. I humbled myself before her. I told her to tell me a little bit about her experience as a Christian. And she told me some very wonderful, moving stories about how they used to fight all those idol worshippers who would bring charms to the front of the door. And the catechist, that's all they had there, would come with his Bible, wave the Bible over whatever charm was placed in front of the church and then kick it out of the way. Time sent it ablaze. I listened with awe at some of the experiences that she shared with me. But then, very humbly, I asked, can you remember a particular stage where you said, I do to Jesus. Because he is the husband of the church. And for a woman to be married, she has to say, I do to the husband. I, I use wisdom. And God helped me. Finally, she understood what I was talking about, and she gave her life to Jesus. And very humbly, I began to talk to her about baptism in the Holy Spirit. And when I found that things were getting a bit slow, I had to use other people to help me reach out to her. Finally, she got baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. 
Beloved, I'm begging you. The older generation of Pentecostals, they have issues. I know I'm one of them. But they have experience. There are certain things you don't learn in any Bible college. There are certain things that can only be learned as you travel along this way. There's a lot you can gain from them. Please, I'm begging you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, don't let pride rob you of some tremendous things you could gain from these older generations. And believe me honestly, whether you know it or not, they are going. If the lottery is now, many of us will soon be gone. And once we are gone, we are gone. So before we go, now that particularly we, these older brothers have humbled themselves in reaching out to you, respond. Please, I beg you, respond. You have a lot to gain. Ask our president, Bishop Walioke. Whenever we had an opportunity to hold a meeting of people who gather together um, under the title of apostles, and one of the younger people, and among the people who gathered there by the grace of God, I think I am the oldest of them, will ask one of the people to share. And I will sit down there and listen. And after they finish sharing, when everybody is commenting, I always kept quiet because I had a lot to learn. The old has a lot to learn from the, from the new. But don't let the new think that they know it all. <laughs> because they don't. That's the truth of the matter. Ask Bishop Wale, okay. He will tell you that after everybody has spoken, to show you that I learned something, I will now go over the sermon that whoever preached had preached. Point by point by point. And many a times, I will come out with some 14 crucial points that he had raised. Many a times more than 14. So much that even the preacher will say, I didn't say that. And I will say, well, you said this and this one followed. Let us learn one from the other. Whatever you want to say is wrong with the elder ones. They've played their part. God is going to judge them on the fact that they did the best they could based on their limited knowledge. But many of them are on the way out. Grab them now. And please, you will need to respond positively before it is too late. The Almighty God will bless your meeting. He will be with you at the gathering. He will prosper your ministry as he has been doing. He will take you higher and higher and higher. And I pray that on the last day in the kingdom of God, we will all be there. Thank you very much once again for giving me an opportunity to share. If uh, I've offended you by the way I've spoken. Please forgive me. Uh, I was speaking out of love. God bless you. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord.